Hello, we are Monster String Quartet, Canon, Patricia, Lea, and Ariana, and we are talking to you from Switzerland. We are very happy about participating in this project, and today we will talk to you about the two words that we chose for it. So we decided to choose Haydn, Opus 33, called The Bird, in C major, and The Rock of Mars, Checked by Venus, by Andrea Appiani. These two works are really close in time, just eight years apart from each other, and they share a lot of similarities. Yes, the painting has the balance and measure typical of classical period, and the, the, the figures in the foreground uh, are yes, balanced, but not static at all. The, uh, the gesture of Mars uh, suggests a movement toward the right side of the painting, while a wind that moves the drape uh, uh, on the other direction suggests exactly an opposite force. And the same thing does actually the uh, gesture of Venus that is holding Mars back. And those two forces, it's, it's really interesting that exactly those two opposite forces create the balance and harmony in the painting. Uh, the same thing we found that happens in, in our uh, version, I mean, not our version, in Haydn, the string quartet number uh, opus 33, where the beginning uh, we, with the inner voices playing this uh, uh, rhythmical, horizontal uh, rhythm that is, uh, yes, exactly, <laughs> that is uh, just a right a direction to the right of the score, uh, it somehow holds hold back, yeah, uh, from uh, with the entrance of the uh, first violin, uh, that with um, with uh, yeah harmonies and dissonances and the length of the note suggests yes a resistance and uncertainty. The whole actual in introduction is uh, is like that, this, this uncertainty and uh, resistance, and with the mastery thanks to the mastery of the, this brilliant composer Haydn, then we explode uh, to the joy of uh, C major. The background of this painting is a peaceful landscape where the green of the fields and trees meets with the blue and the light of the sky. In this quartet, nature takes the main role, whereas the human characters would be just in the background, I would say. The grace notes which take the scene in the whole quartet imitate the sounds of the birds, and the rhythms and harmonies would suggest a feeling of spring all the time. The C major tonality, which gives brightness, color, and light to the music, offers this quartet the joy and the charm of the nature. Mm -hmm. And that's it. We just hope that you enjoy the concert as much as we did while, while playing. Um, maybe this joyful feeling can accompany you during the day. <laughs>